Belen Hosting State's Senior Ring Ceremony. Hispanic Heritage and Elijah Cummings. Good morning, Belen. I'm Enrique Sori. And I'm Lucas Consuegra. This edition of WBLN starts right now. Belen Jesuit will host the 2020 and 2021 Florida High School Water Polo State Championship at the John Zupano Aquatic Center. The 2020 event will take place on April 17th and 18th, and the 2021 event will be April 16th and 17th. Belen Jesuit will be hosting the Water Polo Finals for the first time in the event's history. This is the first time Belen will host a state championship game. Advanced ticket information for the event will be available via GoFan, the exclusive digital ticket provider for the FHSAA. Tuesday night, the class of 2020 had its ring mask. This is a special event for both the students and their male sponsors. Father Willie held the mask with a homily talking about St. Teresa of Avila and her rigorous journey throughout her life. Once the mask was over, the rings were given out. After the ceremony, the students and their families moved over to the dining hall to take pictures and eat dinner. The World Languages Department invites the school community to celebrate our Hispanic heritage through our yearly Fiesta de la Hispanidad on Friday, October 18th in the Roberto Cosieta Athletic Center at 7.30 p.m. This event highlights the richness and diversity of the Hispanic culture. Living in, living in a city as culturally diverse as Miami, we must embrace what unites us as members of the Hispanic community. Flags were set at half mass yesterday as Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings died at the age of 68. Robbie Espin has the latest. Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings has died at the age of 68. His office made the announcement Thursday morning. Cummings passed away at John Hopkins Hospital due to long-standing health challenges. He was born and raised in Baltimore, a community he represented for over 20 years in Congress. Cummings was a fixture in U.S. politics and an advocate for civil rights. He was the chairman of the House Committee on Oversight and Reform and led the charge for an impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz had this to say about the passing of Cummings. For his family, for his community, for our, our country. Um, Elijah Cummings had unmatched integrity, wisdom. Um, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't spend five minutes with Elijah Cummings without feeling impacted deeply by his, his guidance, by his values. Today is, is uh, really about the passing of um, guy that I think everyone in the Congress considered a friend and everyone is certainly saddened by the passing of Chairman Cummings and so uh, uh, we appreciate just this individual and the folks who work for him and how hard they work I think was representative of, of, of how much people cared about uh, uh, the kind of leader he was. For WLN, this is Robbie Espin. And now, Father Cartaya. I left my car with the windows open the other day when it was raining. When I went uh, to get in, oh my God, I found uh, my car as a carpool, carpool, carpool. <laughs> Here are your sports for today. Varsity athletes who need to order a letterman jacket must see Coach Aparicio. The deadline is October 20th. Middle school basketball trials will be held Monday, October 21st from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the outdoor courts and Tuesday, October 22nd from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the gym. The final round of trials will be held October 25th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the gym. Parents are asked to drop off and pick up the boys in the gym lobby. It is a closed tryout. The varsity and JV soccer tryouts will be held on Monday, October 21st at 3.30 p.m. in the Hernandez Field. Trials for the 6th grade baseball team will be held from November 18th through the 22nd at 3.30 p.m. at the middle school baseball field. 
Any student interested in learning how to wrestle and becoming part of the wrestling program should contact Coach Barking at cbarking at belenjesuit.org. The varsity swimming and diving team defeated Terra Environmental Research Institute. The middle school football team lost to Horace O'Brien Middle School 16 29. The sixth grade basketball team defeated St. Kevin 41 19. The victory was a team effort that saw all members of the team score. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Adrian. That's all your news for today. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Lucas Gonzaga. And I'm Nerika Sori. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay golden.